Good morning, traders. It's E from MarketWizards.com and eMiniWizard.com. Finding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. If you're playing this game. All right, special shout out to Anthony Crudelli. Thank you so much again for having me on your show. Enjoyed it immensely with Paulie. Talked a, a lot about trading and mindset and uh, adjustments we're making. And just want to say thank you so much. You're a, a class act and I appreciate our friendship. All right, taking a look at today's activity, one, one of the things that I'm looking at and I always look at is the prior day's range. And as long as we're above it, then obviously we're in new territory trying to test uh, resistance above us. And when we get back into that range, and it's much more neutral. Um, this low is my squeeze pivot right here. And this was identified early. And, and this was that area that Anthony had talked about, that 42 area, which happens to be the <clears throat> February low. So I think that's an important idea that, that he's got. We've got to get under and stay under that if we're coming south side. We, we really made a quite a long run since Friday. So I think we're consolidating. I don't think it's bearish. Uh, I do think uh, we have to be careful about expecting too much today on the upside. And the tendency I have found is to drift into um, uh, the Fed announcements. So that's part of the reason I think we've got a trap and squeeze going right now. So we go box by box. And right now we can see obviously the different levels that are important until we break down this 52 area. <clears throat> We're still inside this range. And obviously the overnight high is key. Demon I've got at 62. So, so this range is fairly choppy, very small range for us to operate during the uh, regular trading hours. Let's take a look at a couple of the charts. Here's your angels and demons. We can see overnight that 12 area I had talked about that held uh, almost to the tick. And uh, that's just one of our big markers that, that we use in our system. And you can see when, when we held this 12 area, we never looked back, took out the high and, and then rotated higher and here we are. So again, we're, we're still testing the upside, we're testing the demon. Coming into the end of the, the morning, uh, we could get a little bit of a squeeze higher during, during lunch, but I'm still not expecting a lot. I'm looking back here at where we started. Um, that's a pretty good size run. So I think they've taken a lot of the juice out of the <clears throat> the shorts today. And, and until we get something meaningful, I, I'm not looking for a big pullback either. Uh, I'm looking for a drift higher in the next day or so. Um, I still believe we've got that 200 point range. We've got to resolve 2700 to 2900 and then we'll go from there. Here's a weekly look. <clears throat> this would be the prior week and then obviously the week before. So we've got this zone from 75 to 85 above us that obviously if the market uh, can get any steam up, that's what it wants to test. Obviously first the 75s and then <clears throat> there was 85s. Um, so our first target today is see if you can't get a few points higher, see if they can probe higher. Uh, get into that 68 to 72. That's you know somewhat indicated today as a potential target. And then from there, obviously you got to take out these highs. And here's our monthly look. <clears throat> you can see that we're in the top box, this <clears throat> 28 area, pretty important to 85. So on a monthly basis, as we're drawing to a close, uh, we certainly understand that it's it's been a very powerful bounce off the bottom. Probably surprised a lot of traders we've gone this far. It is what it is. Uh, whatever money's being throwing at thrown at the economy, that's part of it. But we'll also take a look at one or two charts that will show some of what I think is causing that and bringing that about as well. <clears throat> Here's the OTF. And this 71, 72 area obviously would be our next, beginning of our next resistance. And then the top of that all the way up here at, at the 91 to 92. 
So for now, this is the box we're in and trading. This 52 is an important flip zone. And obviously the 32s back here. And note where my flip was overnight, 28, 12 and a half. Could not ask for it to do a better job <clears throat> if you like that long side. And here's a 30 minute chart. <clears throat> note where we held on Friday. And dip below it, got support, pushed up, and we've been running off of this 30 minute. Over and under tells me it's a little bit sloppy, a little bit tired. You can always drop back one way or the other to another chart. So it's at 15 that we were working off the 10. I said, I think we'll use drop back to the 15s. Look, look how good this was on Friday. Caught in here and took off, not giving uh, <clears throat> RTH traders a lot to work with. A lot of that move is done uh, overnight. Look, look at your 60. Look how good this 60 minute chart was on Friday. And then again today, you could see why I wanted to keep an eye on this 60. This red line coming up is next support. So even right now, this 41, 42 area, pretty <clears throat> important support. All right, let's finish with a <clears throat> quick peek at a couple of the stocks. T take a look at, <clears throat> you know, even things like Amazon. L look how charts like this uh, <clears throat> are showing you where the market is being driven from, in my opinion. You know, we've <clears throat> we bottomed out um, in March. And we've had a, a tremendous vertical run with stocks like this that are, are helping to propel the indices higher, in my opinion. <clears throat> Do a side-by-side. -side. Take a look at things like <clears throat> Microsoft. You can see the stocks that are, have people have been talking about that are moving the market. And this is a good way to visually see that idea. So Z pattern here, obviously, <clears throat> in the uh, alphabet. And we're back into the middle, clearly. Z pattern up, down, and back to the middle. <clears throat> so a few of these stocks are, are helping to propel the markets higher. Same thing here, obviously, uh, with Facebook. So I, I like to see broad participation in the market if it's gonna be a, <clears throat> a rally that makes sense. And, and so this concerns me obviously that we're not getting that, that same kind of participation that, that um, you would expect. So I think this is somewhat um, gamed right now. And, and that being said, you still have to play along with the move that's going on. So here's a two year on uh, Apple. I think they're using Apple also to, to bring this market up. So these are things that I look at. Uh, Paulie talked about divergence and whatever. And, and, and so these are the type of things that catch my eye and have me aware of things that, that are being used. So I follow these. I don't trade them, but I do follow them to get a, a feel for what are they trying to do in any particular day with the market. And so for today, drifting higher, I've got to say that you know, I'm going to keep my eye on these. And as long as they're solid, the market is still going to drift up and probably test a bit higher still. And then on Wednesday, I think we'll get some news. And at that point, then we'll be very cautious about um, any further upside. That's my opinion. All right. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks to all of you uh, new followers who are uh, taking a look at uh, some of the posts that I've made. I appreciate it very much. Get in touch if I can help you at all. E at eminiwizard.com. And best to everybody.